Hello everyone, my name is Faith Giroux. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time of watching, please subscribe on the link below and also put on your notifications so that you get an alert when a new video pops up. Thank you. Also, please share with your friends and your families. Oh, this is the half people. Today, what are we going to be making? We're going to be making guess, 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 guess. We're going to be making meat pie. I haven't baked in over four years. I've had like major cooking, major baking disaster yesterday, but we moved. So I'm going to be making meat pie. Beginner's friend, we like literally learning how to make it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned. To begin, we're going to cut all the ingredients that we're going to be using. So Irish potato, onions, carrot, and then we're going to set it aside and then mix the dough. So this is flour, plus salt and baking powder. We're going to add in butter and then mix till like till it's like breadcrumbs. Now it's looking like breadcrumbs, so we're going to add in our egg. I think we should use I think I should have used ordinary egg white, but I used the old eggs. So we're adding in the eggs now. Mix, mix, mix. We're going to need it together with our hands. We're going to get to that point, yeah. So until it's until all the dough is formed, basically. And then you just have to make sure that everything's together in one lump sum. And we're going to now set it aside when we're done mixing the dough. Cover it up, keep it one side. Now we're going to mix, prepare the mixture to go into it. So putting oil in the pan, onions, mix one scotch bonnet, just one, so that it gives it a tangled little filling. And then we're going to mix minced meat. I think this step you should rinse it. It makes it easier for the lumps to actually not be a lot. So you rinse it before pouring it in. And then we're going to keep mixing until it's brownish. Yeah, like this. We're pouring in the Irish potato. I did not cook mine separately, but you could also do that. You could cook it separately before pouring it in but i didn't do that I didn't have the energy for that one so pour it in let it cook and then pouring in the carrot also letting that form also then we're putting in the salt and the maggie one teaspoon of salt just one cube if you're going to use one cube if you're using the cube ones or just also a teaspoon I added a little bit of water because I wanted it to form a little bit. Well, you shouldn't need to add water. And if it's too watery, you can put in flour. Now we're setting that aside and we're going to knead the dough, roll it to begin. Put the flour on the surface. Keep rolling until it's flat enough, not too thin. And then you're going to on all sides just keep rolling it i'm going to put it now on me i have the meat spire shaper so i'm going to use that and pour in the meat mixture i poured too much here so this is a disaster so just want to just let you guys see it it's the whole process then i'm starting all over again <laughs> We're going to knead the dough, roll it, roll the dough, roll, 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 and then put it on the meat pie cutter, pour in litu, start with litu, and then you can add more if it's not enough, and then shape it, put it aside. We're going to repeat this process for all of them. 
Let me show you guys two or three and then do that same process roll your dough until it's flat enough on all the sides and then you put it on your meat pie shaper meat pie cutter you could use a flat plate for this but since i got this one use this one pour in your meat mixture cut repeat the process until that is done and then we're going to set aside keep doing that now all of this is done i'm going to that's egg white so i'm rubbing top with egg white so that it's opposite form it doesn't scatter the process then i'm going to punch it in so that any air that is in will come out that's why the whole puncher so that it doesn't just bust in the oven I want to prevent that from happening then we're going to pop it in the oven we already pre-eat at the oven the pop in in for about 15 to 20